So as we're waiting on the Activision Blizzard deal to close, another massive acquisition has closed uh, big, but not nearly as big as the, the Activision Blizzard in terms of the dollar value. And that is the Sony acquisition of Bungie. So they purchased Bungie for $3.7 billion, which is, we know Bungie, the studio behind Destiny and and every game up to Halo Reach. So they're extremely talented studio in first-person shooters in particular. And it says here, the agreement to acquire Bungie is closed. So now we can officially say welcome to the PlayStation family, Bungie. And this is the second studio uh, deal that closed this week or last week, whenever it was, with PlayStation, which was the, the Haven Studios deal closed. And now the Bungie stu uh, deal stu uh, closed. And... Bungie also put out a remarks here saying we are proud to officially join the incredible team at PlayStation. Let's zoom in here for you guys. We are excited for the future of our company and we are inspired to bring together players from all over the world to form lasting friendships and memories. And as we know, once when the, when they announced the acquisition of Bungie, one of the main things that they went ahead with this deal with was that all their games are still going to be multi-platform and they're still going to be able to operate kind of like as an independent studio. They even say here, they're going to be able to run as an independent subsidiary of SIE. So this deal is closed. They are now a part of PlayStation studios. If you're wondering whether you're going to be able to play destiny anymore, yes, you're still going to be able to play destiny. If you're wondering if, if you're going to be able to play destiny three, whenever that comes out or whatever next game that comes out from Bungie on whatever platform that you want, Yes, you're still going to be able to, to play any games coming from Mudgy, no matter what platform that you're on, as they want to self-publish and reach players where they choose to play. That was the main stipulation, if you guys remember, when they announced this deal as to why they went ahead with this deal in the first place. So from the point of view as a gamer, does it matter that Sony acquired Bungie? No. I mean, you're still going to be able to play these games anywhere. In fact, it may improve their games. Maybe they have more resources now and they have access to, just like when Xbox bought Bethesda and, and Activision Blizzard, they now have access to more money and they have access to more talent and resources within the other PlayStation studios to help make their games better. So for me personally, my opinion on this deal and it closing, there's literally zero negative to it. Unless one day Sony comes in and puts their foot down and says, hey, you have to only put these games on PlayStation. If they do that, then that's going to suck. But from everything that we know right now, that isn't happening. And I don't ever foresee that happening, especially with the fact that PlayStation have talked about their strategy going forward and how they want to, they want to get more games as a service games and they want to get more, um, they want to get more, um, multi-platform essentially putting more games onto PC. And the only way you can do that is by not locking games to the console itself. So I don't foresee any of the Bungie games going forward ever knopping on anything else. And for, for PlayStation, I think this is a very good deal. You get a studio that instantly makes these great games as a service games gets to you're, you're already starting out with tons of revenue from destiny that you're going to be making. And I think it accelerates their, their strategy. I think it really does accelerate their strategy. It's like, it's like, um, if they didn't have this, they would be waiting on all of their other studios, a studio like Haven that they just purchased, who hasn't even made a game yet to make and release that games as a service game that they're working on. And then hope, hope that that game takes off because if it doesn't, then they would have to start from scratch. But with, with Bungie, they don't need to worry about that. They already have an established IP. They have an established franchise that they know is going to do well in the area that they're trying to expand and get better at in an area that they're going to probably be able to incorporate some sort of like advantages and perks for their, for destiny players. If they play on PlayStation, if they sign up to PlayStation plus stuff like that. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a very good um, acquisition for Sony. We'll see how it all plays out and, and what they're going to be working on next. And if they're just going to be staying on working on destiny, or if they're going to go off to new projects with the, with the new resources and stuff that they have.